So we are the three cube pros. I'm Andre. I'm June. And I'm June. Today we'll be teaching you how to solve the three by three roots cube. Before we do anything like that, we need to teach you notation. So there's six sides to a Rubik's Cube, and each of them has their own notation. The front side, the top side, well, notation is U, which stands for up. The down side, which is the bottom. Left and right. And back. And middle, too. Just the middle. So whenever you see a R, a L, or anything like that, it signifies to turn the cube clockwise. So if I had R, it'd be the R, the right, turn it clockwise. Sometimes you might see a prime sim symbol or an I symbol signifying it has to go counterclockwise. So this would be R prime, this would be L prime, this would be U prime, because this is the U face, D face, B face, and M would be the middle. And if you see a two after anything, you have to turn it twice. If you ever see F or D, it means front and back. So this is a front face, the face which is in front of you, the back face which is in the back. And so F means you turn the front face clockwise, and F prime means counterclockwise, and F2 is you turn it twice. Same applies to the back, which you cannot see. If you're ever confused about which way to turn it, keep in mind that clockwise means that depending on which face you're looking at. So R, even though R, if you want to do R, R, just regular R, you turn it clockwise as if you're looking at the side and it becomes F. But you're still looking at this side, so that would be R. L would be the opposite because you would look at L and then that's clockwise, which happens to be the opposite of R because they're on opposite sides. Okay, this tutorial will be split up into basically three parts, but there will be separate parts in the parts. So, yeah. Andre here is going to start with the first two layers. I will teach OLL, something you do to get all the pieces there. And then Eugene will be teaching PLL, which arranges the pieces so your cube is solved. Alright, so... The first two layers, or F2L as it's usually called in speed cubing. There's many ways to solve this. I'm going to be teaching the beginner method right now. So you have to mix it up, but you can start on any color you want. Keep in mind that the centers never move in relation to each other. And then you have to make a cross. Now all of the edge pieces will always be edge pieces. You have to get the correct edge piece between the blue, in this case, and red center pieces and do that for each one until you have a cross on the top. Don't mind any other pieces right now. So, I found the red and blue edge piece, and for if it's in this position, you can just turn this face, and then I have this. Now you have to do that for all four directions until you have a cross. In this case, I'll just move this to the side, move this up, and move it back. This piece, I'll move it that way move it up and move it back again. Now this blue-white edge piece is already in the right place, but it's inverted. You need to flip it. So it's unhelpful the way it is right now, so you have to move the middle down, move the piece out of the way, move it back up. It's white and blue right here. You turn it back, and then you can just simply turn this face so you have a cross. And all of these are correct. Next, you have to put the corner piece in, still keeping in mind that the centers never move. So you have to put it in correctly. I found the blue, yellow, and red corner. The blue, yellow, and red corner where it should be is right here. So now I use a technique known as the elevator technique by putting this piece here, moving it out of the way, moving where it's supposed to be down into where it used to be, putting it back, and putting it back up. And it's in the correct spot now. Simply do that for the rest of the pieces. And you should, by the end of it, have the entire top row and the top complete. Next thing you have to do, the second layer, is put in these corners between. There's an algorithm for this. Algorithms are a series of moves to create a desired purpose. First, find an edge piece. 
find where that edge piece is supposed to go. And keep in mind that the green pieces, which is the opposite of blue, will never be in this position. I found the white and red one. What you have to do is make a T of the same color. And what you have to do is make sure that you know which way the um, piece is going. So it's going this way. So you have to turn it the opposite way. Down. Keep going that way. Bring it up. Turn it back. Turn the cube 90 degrees, so it's here, down, bottom, and up. Make a T, and then um, D, L, D, L prime, D prime, turn the cube, R prime, D prime, R. I'll show you the notation once again. So this one, I made a yellow T, and then it has to go this way instead. This is a great example. I have to turn this the other way and do the entire algorithm in reverse. So I use D, actually no, it's D prime, R prime, D prime, R, D, turn the cube in the other way, this time remember, and then L, and then D, and then L prime. And then you have a corner in there. If there's no usable pieces to put in there, in between, that means all of them that are usable, if you're supposed to put them, are already up there, but in the wrong positions. If this happens, you can just use the same algorithm to take it out and substitute a green one, and then and the one that's correct is right there, and you can just use the algorithm with that one. And then the other one is right here, so let's use the same algorithm. And then you're done the first two layers, or F2L.